All right, man. Talk to talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Six o'clock show. Six o'clock show with the baby. He just entered the building. Six o'clock show. Look, man. So this episode is about Kendrick Lamar submitting Euphoria and Not Like Us. I believe it's Euphoria Not Like Us. If not, it's Not Like Us to the Grammys. And everyone is upset about it. And I have a lot to say about this because I think that y'all are really missing the point. You know what I'm saying? So before I get into that, let me get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where the final one's at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. If you want to leave a donation, you can. Links on the screen, Cash App, PayPal is in the description. They called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000 trying to get to a million by Monday morning. That's, you know, Monday morning. And let me know where you're from, man. I really, really appreciate y'all telling me where y'all from, man. Listen, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate everything y'all have done for this channel. It really, really, it really, really hit me hard that you guys are sticking with me. Even if y'all disagree with my takes, y'all still here with me. I love you guys, man. I swear, like, you just don't understand. Like, y'all don't understand. I'm gonna keep telling y'all that. And if I ever become... And, you know, get to a million subscribers, which I'm probably going to. But once I get there, I'm never going to forget nobody that was here from day one, man. I'm telling you. You know what I mean? If you, if you start a YouTube channel and I'm a million, like a million in, I'm promoting you. I'm putting you out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting you out there so people could, so you can get where I'm at. Because you guys made me. Trust me, man. So, uh, I know that was a long spill, but uh, <laughs> be back. So this is coming courtesy of Never Give Up. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to watch this video and um, come back and discuss. Let's go. Kendrick Lamar is the Grammy's good boy. They said he chucking and jiving for the Super Bowl like he been chucking and jiving for the white man at the Grammys. Now this dude is going at Kendrick fans who like to use the Grammys to go against Kendrick. And we're going to talk about whether or not Not Like Us and Euphoria was submitted to the Grammys. But check this out. Read the room when it comes to speaking on hip-hop issues. The Grammys is the same show that didn't even want to recognize hip-hop. It took... All right, so let me stop you right there. <laughs> Let me stop you right there, homeboy. For the past maybe 20 years, hip hop's been run by the Grammys. Maybe maybe longer. So let me stop you right there. Number two, the Grammys maybe have they may have not recognized hip hop, but the Grammys recognized multiple artists that were black. That wasn't hip hop. That's number two. So we talking about Michael Jackson, we talking about Diana Ross, we talking about they gave Lifetime Achievement Awards to black artists, everything. You know what I'm saying? So for you to for you to make that statement, I already see where this is going. You're going to get slaughtered on this one. And I wish I could talk to you. If anybody knows who this dude is, please, please give me his email. And I want to I want to debate this dude about this. So let's keep it going. For the higher ups at Def Jam, along with a few very prominent hip hop names at the time, in 1989, they led a boycott of the Grammys and they called out the Grammys for not even representing hip hop at their award show. Okay, so my thing is, this is my arg my counter argument for that. If the hip hop, if the Grammys wasn't shit, why would y'all want them to have y'all anyway? Like if you if you saying the gram if you're saying that the Grammys ain't shit, then why does hip hop artists want the Grammys anyway? I don't understand that argument. You're saying that you're saying that they, 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 they don't care. Why would you want to be a part of something that doesn't care? Why? No hip hop performers, no hip hop awards. That's just the history of the Grammys and 
how people, not just people, the biggest artists in the genre feel about the Grammys. And for the that that's so yo, that is so so disingenuous for you to say. Because what you're doing is you're trying to first of all, at the time hip hop wasn't the biggest genre. Let's just be clear, it was still fairly new. It wasn't it wasn't the biggest genre. It was just coming in. Let's get that out the way. Number two, you're discrediting all the black artists that won Grammys before the before hip hop. Before hip hop. How are you going to say that the Grammys, like, th that's crazy for you to say. People boycotted the Grammys because they didn't, they didn't want to have black acts on the Grammys or black rappers on the Grammys, but they had black acts on the Grammys, though. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? For the most part, they've had the support of the fans, but now we want to validate them. Those of you who want to hype Kendrick Lamar and discredit Drake, we're going to use the award show that has consistently throughout the years disrespected the genre of hip hop. But it's they have not did that. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about? OK, maybe I'm maybe I'm miss, missing something. You're saying it, this is a running narrative for some reason for the last couple of years because your artist didn't win a Grammy. That's what it is. What it is, is your artists who y'all like didn't win no Grammys. That's what it is. But for the last, I would say, 20 years, they created so many different categories for hip hop. Hip hop actually runs the Grammys. Most of the performances are all, are all hip hop based. Most of them. If you go anywhere, the Grammys is literally hip hop right now. If you the past five years, I would say I would say 10 years, it's been hip hop acts from the open to the close. The only thing I could say that the Grammys that I disagree with is they don't usually don't make a hip hop artist album of the year. It, you, it's usually some person you don't know. Now, when it comes to hip hop album of the year, I believe hip hop has the most categories. They win the most awards. How many awards have Jay-Z won? Grammys. He has, I believe, 22. How many Kanye got? 22. How many um, um, Kendrick got? 17. How many, uh, all of these, Beyonce got 31. You're saying that the Grammys disrespects rappers and rap artists, but they won most of the Grammys. <laughs> what are you talking about? Most of the Grammys are, rent, are won by black artists. This shit is crazy. It's about culture, though. Yeah. All right. Mr. Let the Party Die. Okay. Now, academics posted this, and it says, we should boycott the industry rapper. That's a quote from Kendrick, and it says, Kendrick Lamar submits Euphoria for the Grammys. So, this is Soundwave. Now, Soundwave is nominated for Producer of the Year when it comes to the Grammys, all right? Now, he produced Not Like Us and Euphoria. So, some people are saying... Well, since Soundwave... What do you mean Soundwave produced Not Like Us? Soundwave didn't produce Not Like Us. Wasn't that DJ Mustard? What do you mean, Soundwave? I don't know. Maybe you mean a different production. Maybe you're talking about... I don't know what he mean by that. I thought that was DJ Mustard. Is nominated for a Grammy. This is not Kendrick um, submitting his music to the Grammys. But... You got to think about Kendrick's history. All you got to do is search up Kendrick and the Grammys, and you'll see that Kendrick loves the Grammys. He's always there. He's always smiling, showing all of his... What is this? I don't understand y'all, what, what y'all hard on is for the Grammys when most of the artists, most of y'all artists that y'all like win Grammys too. And on top of that... Most of the artists, most of the big artists win Grammys. Like, I don't understand why y'all act as if, like, the Grammys is, is such the, the, the worst thing ever. It's like, oh, you were part of the elite when you win a Grammy. So you, so you shitting on Michael Jackson then. You, that's what you're basically doing. Michael Jackson was a part of the Grammys. He was all over. He performed at the Grammys plenty of times. So he ain't shit, right? So that's what you're saying? He loved the Grammys. You taught my mic, right? It's crazy, yo. It's crazy how how y'all try to uh listen, bro. Let's be clear here. Drake is a pop star. 
You can't get around that. Y'all can say whatever y'all want about Kendrick Lamar, but guess what? You can't say, and this is, this is what y'all got to understand, because I think a lot of y'all are so confused, right? You can't call the Grammys commercial, right? Commercial Grammys when Kendrick is not a commercial artist, but he wins the awards. So which one is it? Is the Grammys commercial or is it that maybe the Grammys recognize that he's a, gr a great artist? Because if you look at most of the artists that win the Grammys, most of them, 99% of them that are not hip hop based, 99% of them are really good artists. Now, I'm not saying that there's not some hip -hop, hip hop artists that win the Grammys. Obviously, there's there's people who won the Grammys, but there were people who either didn't submit their music in time or they didn't want to they didn't want to have nothing to do with the Grammys. That's just that. But if you if you're telling me that Jay-Z, who won multiple Grammys, now all of a sudden it doesn't matter now the Grammys is not good now. We can go down a list of artists who won Grammys. That were rappers that are not commercial rappers. Nas just won a Grammy. So we gonna say that he's commercial now too? Like you guys be y'all y'all try to make these excuses for Drake because Drake has put this in your head that he don't want to submit his music to the Grammys anymore because Kendrick been smoking him. That's why. So a lot of times when Drake he said, "Well, I'm not submitting my music because they're just gonna give it to Kendrick anyway." That's how he looks at it. But no, maybe they look at it, Drake. Maybe they look at it. Well, we're not just going to give you anything. We're not just going to give you anything. And my thing is, all of the other rappers who are a part of the Grammys, y'all single Kendrick out for some reason. It's, it's crazy to me how this is. It's crazy. Y'all trying to make it seem like, oh, because he wins a Grammy that he's like the Grammy golden child. Well, I know the reason why y'all mad, though. Why y'all really mad. Y'all really mad. Is because once that song drops, he's gonna be the mon he gonna be the rapper with the most Grammys. Because if he wins, all he needs to win is like I think five more awards, six more awards, and he will have more awards than everybody. And that's what y'all hate. Drake got eight, he got seventeen. Y'all can't stand it. That's what it really is. That's what it really is. It's the fact that Drake don't have that many. Because trust and believe, y'all would be parading him around if Drake had 100 Grammys. Y'all would be like, he got 100 Grammys. Because you, we, could, we could say, we could sit here and say, Drake has 100 number one hits, pop hits. Y'all could, could say that that's not industry. That's industry. You know what I'm saying? We, he has a full million dollar deal. That's industry. Y'all could try to paint Drake out to be this. Oh, he ain't a pop star. He is a pop star. You can't get around it. You can't. I would even go as far as saying the Grammys is a little more credible now than it was back in the day when it comes to hip hop. Tell me it's not. Argue with me that it's not. His teeth performing. This was in 2016. Y'all remember this? Chucking and jiving for the Grammys. He didn't perform at the Grammys about three or four times. He didn't perform at the Grammys more than he didn't gave back to Compton. As a matter of fact, he don't rep Compton no more. He rep the Grammys. And you know who he always hanging out with at the Grammys? The guy that made sure he was going to be on stage at that Super Bowl halftime show. And I think it's funny that a lot of people are now coming out and saying this. Because look, I've told y'all, I like Kendrick. I like Drake. But I am bothered when people think that Kendrick Lamar doesn't play industry games just as much as Drake or anybody. How do you how do you equate this to industry games? How? He made a banging song and he should be rewarded for it. How you how is that an industry game? Drake 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 could have submitted his songs too. I don't understand why, why y'all, why all of a sudden Kendrick got to be playing industry games because he made a song and it's probably going to be the first diss track of all time. He's breaking all these records, but for some reason y'all think it's industry games or something he's playing. It's like, come on, man. Else, he's a rapper. He does rapper things. 
He's an entertainer. He's selling an image like everybody else. Some of y'all Kendrick fans, look, one lady told me Kendrick don't care about money. He don't care about being rich. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that, bro. Don't don't assume. Don't assume because the image that he's portraying, whether you want to say it's the image he's portraying, he's not all about money. You could say you could say he does things on his off time, but the image he's portraying, he's not about money. You have to admit that. You have to admit that. You can't sit here and say, well, well, I believe that he, I mean, you could say whatever you want, but you can't say, I believe, I believe that he's all about money. He's all about it. Well, guess what? This is what a great businessman does. He doesn't show his hand. You just assuming that he's about money. But the persona that he puts out, he's not about money. And I would argue what the lady said. I don't think Kendrick Lamar really cares about money like that because he could have did a bunch of different things where it was just features. He could have dropped a whole bunch of music. Kendrick Lamar is good enough to drop music all the time. And he didn't do that. So obviously what she's saying is actually true. You have, to, you have to lean more towards that because he can literally put out music as much as he want. He had the creative freedom to do that. He could have been that, but he chose not that. He chose to go to diff a different route. So you can't say he really cares about money. Everybody cares about money. But you can't say that that's the sole reason why he's here, why he exists. Kendrick got a net worth of $100 million. Tell him to give his money back to Compton if he don't care about money. Now you, now you just talking garbage, man. Now you talking garbage. Now you just, now you just saying anything now. You just, you just trying to, you're trying to grasp his straws and equate an argument just to make an argument. That's stupid. He's as a net worth. We all know net worth doesn't mean that you have that. It's technically. Thirdly, why would he give all his money to Compton? That doesn't make sense. You don't ask Snoop Dogg to do that. And I'm sure Snoop Dogg is worth 100 million too. You don't ask him to do. You don't ask Game to do that. Why why do we ask Kendrick to do all these things? It just doesn't make sense. It's like so you don't you don't ask you don't ask the person uh who own a uh, Fat Burger to go to give all his money. You don't ask the people who, uh, who oh, I don't know, own stock in the Golden Gate Bridge to give all their money back to Compton or back to uh, to California. You're not asking the politicians to do that. It's like, why are you asking Kendrick to do it? Like, why? Some of y'all be sounding so crazy, but look, y'all fall for the hype. Y'all really believe that Kendrick is Malcolm X Luther King. Okay. What? But why do you say that, though? Why do you say that? We could say the same thing about, about y'all when it comes to Drake. We could say the same thing. Y'all think that Drake is the greatest artist that walked the earth. Y'all think that Drake can't do no wrong. Y'all think that Drake actually won the battle. Y'all, y'all, Drake got y'all believing that the Grammys don't mean anything because he don't submit his music anymore. Like, the Grammys don't mean nothing. Winning a Grammy doesn't mean anything. That's what that's what they got y'all believing. The Grammy's been around the been around for so long. If I was to win a Grammy, and I'm not gonna say I'm hundred percent on board with the Grammys. I'm just gonna say if I was to win a Grammy, I would be proud of that because that is the pinnacle of your music career, whether you like it or not. Whether y'all like it or not, there's nothing like it. That's like winning a Grammy is like winning the Super Bowl. A Grammy is like winning the NBA championship. That's just what it is. And if you win 17 or one, you could win one. And you can say, I have a Grammy. Because guess what? There's a lot of artists that I believe that never got Grammys. And I believe they should have. And they are not black. So... When I said what I said about the Super Bowl, and I said it was a great opportunity, and if I was Kendrick, I would do the Super Bowl too. But let's not forget about Colin Kaepernick. I know Jay-Z said we passed kneeling, but everybody ain't passed the NFL. And I get what, 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 the, the NF, this is what you, this is what you goofy, do goofy niggas need to understand, right? Because a lot of y'all just goofy. The NFL had nothing to do with police brutality, bro. 
let's be let's be let's be clear. Colin Kaepernick used his his plat he used a platform for it, but they had nothing to do with that, bro. Nothing, nothing. He would just use the platform. But the NFL, it wasn't like people got hurt at the NFL and then the NFL didn't, you know, no. Jay-Z came in, and this is what y'all don't understand. A lot of y'all are so retarded. I swear y'all so retarded. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z came in, and he said, okay, we kneeled. We got past, you know what I mean? We, we, we kneeled. Everybody know about the social injustice and the, and the police brutality. But where do we go from here? I'm going to take over the halftime show. And when I take over the halftime show, that's the next step. You niggas are so lost that y'all believe that Colin Kaepernick should have kept kneeling forever. And no one moved past it. That's the problem with that I see with black people, man. We always stay stuck in this one realm. We don't want to move out of this victimization. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's move out of that. Jay-Z said, you know what? I'm going to take this. Whether you say any profit off it or not, it doesn't matter whether he did that or not. What he did was he took what Colin Kaepernick did and he took it to the next level. He's the first black man to ever run the halftime of the Super Bowl. And when he took over, all of the artists been black that's been performing. So how is that not a win? I just don't understand what y'all logic is. Y'all think so minuscule. Most of y'all think like children. It's like, what are you talking about? You're sitting here saying, oh, well, uh, yeah. The NFL didn't, we didn't forget. What did, what are we talking about? There are, there are a hundred million players in the NFL that are black. What do you want? What do y'all want? Y'all want black owners? That's what y'all want. I don't understand it. Cause to me, it just seems to me like y'all just be complaining just to complain. It's like, what do y'all want? There's so many different holes in what you're saying, bro. So many holes in what you're saying. You're basically saying that we don't supposed to move past what we move past. Jay-Z took that, what Colin Kaepernick did, and he and he capitalized on whether you said, whether you said he took it and made money off of it, don't matter. It doesn't matter. He still brought eyes and awareness, more awareness to the black culture. That's what it was about. It was about bringing that. But you're saying that everybody should everybody should we still watch you still watch the NFL? I'm sure you do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But I, I'm telling you, most people still watch the NFL. And how does it look? Most people watch the NFL, and most of the halftime shows are black men. You don't think that you don't think that that's a good thing? Like I don't know. The NFL is the biggest sports league in the whole damn country. The Super Bowl is the biggest sports event in the whole damn country. And some of y'all cannot live without your fantasy football. But that don't mean you got to attack anybody who doesn't like the NFL and a lot of its practices and a lot of the things that go on in the NFL. I like what? Give me some examples of these people who who voluntarily play. This is what you're saying. Whether you're talking about other practices, I don't know. They voluntarily play for the NFL. They voluntarily play. They don't have to play. Again, I said this before, black athletes don't have to play. They're in control. They can say, you know what, we're not playing. And the owners won't have nothing, but they continue to play. I don't know, you know, the issues they got with like CTE, a lot of players who seem to be abusive, racism. Oh, man, get the fuck out of here. All of the above. Get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all can watch the rest of this. <laughs> Go ahead, man. What else he got to say? So you can understand where people are coming from when they don't fuck with the NFL. Everybody nah, bro. I can't understand that. Because that that right there is just people reaching. And I'll let y'all watch the rest of it on his show. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Ain't no way in the world. Ain't no way in the world I'm sitting there doing that. Nah. Mm -mm. <laughs> nah, you're not gonna you're not gonna do that, bro. It's like it's like y'all take y'all take one, y'all take 10 people and try to magnify it to a million people like no you know what i'm saying most people don't feel like that most people feel like the nfl is just a sport it's just a game that's it you know what i'm saying a lot of people don't feel like a lot of people don't a lot of people don't feel like like uh like you know a lot of people don't feel like like uh like uh how would i say this 
lot of people don't a lot of people don't feel like the NFL is just something that um that how would it, we need to uh uh ban or or get rid of. A lot of people just look at it as just just a sport, bro. A lot of people look at it as just entertainment. People don't look at the the, the halftime show as something important. People don't look at the commercials as something important. Maybe the commercials, but that's it. But I think a lot of y'all, what y'all doing is like y'all wasn't worried about none of that until Colin Kaepernick took that knee. You know what I'm saying? Y'all wasn't worried about none of that because guess what? If Colin Kaepernick wouldn't have took that knee, y'all still would have been watching the NFL. You know what I'm saying? And it's like y'all saying that the NFL doesn't care about social injustice. The NFL is a sport league. That's it. It's not an activist league. That's what they were trying to say. Now, and again, I'm not saying, I am not saying that people shouldn't be aware because we should be. But then if that's the case, then every league, every sports league all over the world need to do this, which did happen. You know what I'm saying? But the revolution that y'all trying to start shouldn't be started with, with this. It needs to start with ourselves. That's what the revolu- where the revolution needs to start. Because I believe that all of us, we point the finger at everybody not looking at what we're doing. We need to start holding ourselves accountable. That's what a revolution should start. It shouldn't start with the NFL with some of these people who never even been to the hood, don't even understand what it is to walk up and down the street in the hood or never been to Chicago, never been to Jersey, never been to to Philly. They never been inside the city. Why would they care? They never been there. You want these people to care about something that they never even been there. They don't know. That's like me caring about things that's happening in the hills of Beverly Hills. I've never been there. I don't know anything about that. How am I going to fight for that? I don't know about that. So I think a lot of us, we don't want to take accountability for what's going on. We need to do the revolution ourselves within and then change. We have to change ourselves first, then things will change. If we just waiting for everybody to change everything for us, like, oh, look what's happening and I understand the whole thing with, with, with police brutality. I understand that. You know I'm not on the side of that. But I'm just saying, the problem, I think, is we we always looking for other people to accept our pain. When we need to start changing the things that we have been doing, you know what I'm saying, as a culture, we shouldn't allow our kids to, to drive cars with no license. And then when something happens, we blame everybody else for it. It's like, oh, he shouldn't have did that. We know the laws were put in place for a reason. And again, I'm not siding with anybody. I'm just saying we need to be more responsible with our children and raising our children the right way. Some of y'all want to raise y'all children as rebels. So why, why would I, why, so what? They can't tell my my kid what to do. Like a lot of y'all, when they come to y'all, go to the schools and the teachers be telling you what happened with your kid and y'all side with the child. Be like, oh, you can't tell my kid to sit down. Don't talk to them like that. And he's like, well, I just told him to have a seat. I didn't even yell at him. No, he told me to have a seat. And he said it like, he said it in front of the class. And it's like, yeah, I told him to have a seat. We are treat, we're teaching our children and teaching people that we are not a disciplined people. And this is what happens when we're not a disciplined people. So all I'm saying is, is I understand that Colin Kaepernick took that knee, but I also understand that Jay-Z took it and he made it something bigger, made it bigger for us. Now we're being recognized at the Super Bowl. And as far as Kendrick goes, and I know this is a long spill and I don't care. And I said I had a lot to say. As far as Kendrick goes, you cannot, you cannot blame that man for making great music and he getting Grammys. That's just a stupid thing to say. That's dumb. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, 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 he getting another Grammy. That's crazy. It's like the reason why Drake don't submit to Grammys no more because he always loses. Because he's looking at it like, well, I'm never getting them anyway. So why do I need to submit my music? 
make better music, dog. That's it. You ain't doing nothing different. You're doing the same music and expecting people to give you awards for it. Make better music. And y'all try to act as if the Grammy's not important. Well, if it wasn't important, then Drake would still submit his music. He wouldn't even care. He'd be like, I don't care. You know, I, I'll collect those awards. They ain't about nothing. Because, well, Kendrick performs. He performs. But what, he, what does he perform? It's like, it's like y'all, y'all totally leave that part out because the message doesn't matter to y'all. It's actually just, just him performing on the Grammys, him actually bringing awareness to, he did a John bringing awareness to black people and black oppression and all this stuff. But y'all don't care about that. Y'all care, only thing y'all care about is him performing on the Grammys. What he said on the Grammys, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just like Jay-Z taking over and, and putting black people in the, in the halftime show. That don't matter. It doesn't matter. He shouldn't have did that. <laughs> Like, what do you want him to do? What y'all want? What do y'all want? You know what I'm saying? What do y'all want? But either way, man, it's a great episode. Shout out to Never Give Up, man. Me and him be having a, well, we never really talk, but we never, uh, we uh, have some disagreements sometimes. But I'm going to tag him in it. Make sure y'all go watch his channel. Subscribe to him, too. All right, man. See y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>